connecting with us on OTT Play. It's a pleasure having you all here. Thanks, Thank Akita. You, Thank you. Hi. Hi. Okay. So, uh, Unpaused, I believe, tells the stories of different aspects of the COVID uh, lives during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, could you tell us, Ms. Nupur, how did the collaboration happen? Uh, collaboration with my actors? Yeah. Uh, with, yeah, for this particular project with Amazon as well. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I've, I've done some work for Amazon in the past. For more shots, please. So, you know, we, we talk and they reached out and then I wrote this story and, uh, 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 and it was something that was kind of, uh, uh, that's something that affected me. And so I kind of, uh, you know, then it kind of had legs and then I got in touch with, you know, I'd seen uh, Family Man and I had seen, and I remembered that girl, Zoya, who didn't have too many lines, but she had an arresting presence. And I was like, I want to meet her. And Priyanshu had seen, you know, the first 30 minutes of Bhavesh Joshi. And I was just very, very um, impressed with his work in it. And uh, so I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get these two guys together. And uh, then, you know, we cast it on Zoom because I met these guys on Zoom separately and then together. And I was like, you know, as Shreya's fond of saying, they both have chemistry. They can have chemistry with a tree. So I was like, ah, chalo. You know, they are better than a tree. Uh, <laughs> for each other so you know that's how that's that's how uh, quick and simple it was to kind of get it going okay so i uh, saw the trailer and got a glimpse of the story as well the couple i believe it's about uh, a couple who uh, face job loss during the pandemic so could you tell us a bit more about the film and the characters as well yeah uh, basically, I mean, uh, 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 you know, the first season already had talked about the actual pandemic, you know, people who were living through getting tests and, you know, the masks and all of that. And now in 2021, life had moved on a little bit, right? And now 22, yeah. I mean, of course, now there's a new variant, but that's a different story. Um, so, and a lot of sectors had lost jobs, right? I mean, a lot of people had lost their livelihoods in almost every kind of uh, uh, sector. And uh, the, the, uh, what was shocking for me was to read that actually uh, more women than men had lost jobs. Like, you know, there were 10 jobs lost, six were women, some, some crazy statistic like that. And that sort of felt very unfair. And I sort of wanted to talk about that because that enraged me. And I kind of used that uh, as, a, uh, you know, as a starting uh, point. And then that found its way into the story of a, uh, of a couple that's locked down and working from home and then how they both deal with something like that you know when one person is laid off and she's not laid off because of her any mistake that she's made but because the pandemic has had an effect overall on companies worldwide and you know they are laying off people they are downsizing and all of that and so life it, it, it's quite brutal actually that you know how it's done and all of that. And, and then how do you, how does the person that you live with react to that? You know, how, how does that play out? And I think that's, that's what the story is. And I think they'll be able to tell you, they'll be able to talk about their characters. Yes, Mr. and Mr. Priyanshu. No, I mean, it is jumping off what, what Nupur just said. I mean, when you're both up work from home during the pandemic and one half of the couple loses their job, Again, due to no fault of her own, you know, because it was the pandemic and a lot of people were going through that. And when you, like all of us, have your identity wrapped up in your job and what you do, what else do you bring to the table? You know, you start questioning so many things. You start questioning about questioning yourself about your worth, your importance and how you go on from here. So the story is about how this particular incident affects the couple and how they deal with it moving forward? Are they able to support each other? Are they able to transition through this very uh, turbulent period that they've just now seen for the first time under unprecedented circumstances? So it is a very interesting take on how this particular couple deals with this situation. Okay. And uh, did you have any real life uh, personal incident also happening among your friends or someone whom you could uh, relate to and get some inspiration from? Unfortunately, many were, 
losing their jobs and it did affect many of them financially emotionally and mentally as well so i do know a couple of people yeah who lost their jobs one in the corporate world sector and one in uh, media broadcast okay. one so yeah yeah so I that's know. how you picked this particular story i mean uh, not no i mean it's there in your head right when you know people who've gone through this and then you're reading about this every day so i think it's a collective sort of um you know there are stories that just stay in your head right as a filmmaker i mean and this kind of stayed in my head and kind of when i had to write something it, this came out you know amongst other ideas this was the one that kind of pushed itself out of my head first oh, and yeah. felt very uh, yeah i mean i think that you feel strongly about it and that's why you write it right i mean otherwise why would you so yeah okay Mr. Priyanshu, would you like to add about your character and the story? Uh, about my character, I mean, coming from the story, what uh, Mr. Have just explained, I think mostly it is also about a guy who is also trying to find. See, basically, what was happening as a couple for anybody, in fact, through during the lockdown was, we, as you said, we, you know, we were going through different kind of emotional, mental. kind of turmoils and things were going in our head we didn't know how to handle ourselves we were trying to entertain ourselves by doing different kind of things watching ott me plus shows this that trying to do our jobs earn a livelihood earn the money now during that time something like this happens that one of the partners is you know laid off uh, and for no reason uh, and there were many that time you and i know some people who were laid off i know men women both uh, so so i think how does the other partner get affected he he at least my uh, character is such who is also trying to find his own work is trying to do his presentation he stuck with his own work but now how is he going to help her be comfortable give her that um, assurance that you know it's it's all right i mean it's just a job but now he does a lot of silly things as well he does kind of other stuff as well so all that is there in the film i think very cutely and very nicely designed and scripted uh, with uh, i think you know there's a sense of in any couple there are so many uh, uh, layers right you may have a lot of trust and love what can shake that love and what can shake that trust you know what does it take and how do you ride that storm out you yeah. know uh, of course things like anxieties and uh, insecurities kind of uh, you know rush up to the surface and then do you clamp them down do you work your way through them together separately clashing push you know the push and pull between people is constant right i mean you're also living day to day 24/7 with that person you know so there's so many things that kind of collide and like a uh, you know uh, what am i doing what am i doing this for like the cubics what is it the cubics cube yeah ha ah, you know you kind of like as a couple you kind of kind trying to find that yeah uh, match balance and that perfect thing and it doesn't quite happen it's all right so it's just really it's really kind of figuring that out in the film mm-hmm. i think a lot of people relate to this story uh, it's very relatable it is from everybody will connect to this guy and the girl mostly from what we were going through especially during the last year yeah i mean like you okay were mentioning- not connect to it you know i'm also okay people don't connect to it in a sense hmm. but it's also nice to watch two people even if you have nothing to do with them but nice to delve into their world na matlab i i mean like i'm okay. thinking emotionally to for sure emotionally there are so many things which we are doing as couple that will definitely happen and i guess there were lots of times i was also speaking to a couple of uh, people earlier and they were also telling me they didn't know what to do with each other yeah. because they have not been locked up in that kind of a situation for 24/7 and especially when one doesn't have a job they do not know how to spend time with each other yeah so uh, there are yeah. parents as well i mean i know a lot of people who have spent time with their parents like that in a lockdown and they were like yare even the parent didn't know how to behave with the child kyunki bacche ko abhi school to bhej nahi pa rahe like even the young child they didn't know like you know if you had kids at home uh, they were just at home they were studying they were doing schooling from home everything was from home so they didn't know 24 hours abhi kaise karenge sath mein yeah exactly yeah so uh, how was it challenging to tell all these aspects in 20 25 minute format how did you manage i mean yeah i like i've never made a short film before so for me it was definitely was challenging but it was exciting as well you know i mean it was challenging in a very exciting way to uh, you know because i've tackled other mediums not this one 
So it's interesting to see how much I could pack into 20 minutes, yet let there be time to breathe, for the characters to breathe, for the situations to breathe. It was nice. It was fun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Ms. Shreya, you have worked on a sev uh, several uh, OTT projects and also done films and all. Uh, do you think you get more recognition for your OTT projects because of this boom of the medium? Or what do you have to say about that? Well, only because my films haven't come out. <laughs> so, yes. That's a pure technical reason, I guess. Okay. So, uh, and... Ms. Nupur, you had earlier in an interview said that, uh, you know, that you see a bright future for OTT. This was, I think, in the, back in 2017. And you were talking about how all these uh, mediums, uh, TV, OTT and cinemas would be uh, coexisting. So uh, do you, and I think, I, I mean, there are, of course, lots of reasons to believe that probably OTT has uh, surpassed the TV medium. Uh, so... Considering the way it is going right now, do you think OTT will also like overdo cinemas? What do you have to say? I think I said that during uh, the Rommel and Jiggle release, yeah, which had just come out. There. Yes, yeah. No, yes. I, I can buy that comment actually. I usually change, but I mean, you know, uh, but this time I really truly believe that what I said then, I still believe today. I think because of the pandemic, we're not being able to visit the theaters. And I think yes. that see, sometimes you want individual viewing. Sometimes you want to sit in your room at 2 a.m. or at 6 a.m. or, you know, you just had a bad, you, you know, whatever. At any time of day, you want to sit on your laptop and quietly watch something in your room. So therefore, you have the OTT for that. You know, you have the TV at home and you want to watch a cricket match together with your family. You go to the theater for a yes. wonderful collective community experience with someone you don't know from Adam who's sitting right next to you and there's like this big screen and those big speaker. It's a, so all three, I think all three mediums are fantastic. They have different values, uh, values that I, I mean, emotional values when you're watching them. And I think that uh, you can't judge one against the other. I think, I think right now, because of the pandemic, obviously we can't go to the theater. We would be foolish, you know, to uh, go to the theater. But this will pass, you know, this will pass and uh, we'll be, everything will boom. Everything will keep happening, you know, OTT, uh, TV okay. as well. You know, I mean, come on, when TV came, everyone said, oh, radio is dead. radio flourishing. It's like that, you know, I mean, uh, different media. We have podcasts, we have that clubhouse. Yeah. Got clubhouse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What has come and gone? <laughs> what has come and gone? Clubhouse. I don't know what clubhouses. No, no, but different kind of clubhouses have come now. Okay. And there's this constant debate about uh, OTT censorship as well. So what do you all have to say about that? I mean, obviously, we're creative people. We don't believe in, uh, in uh, curbing freedom of expression. So I think as long as the OTT platforms write the parental advisory, you know, 13 plus, 16 plus, 18 plus, etc., and then the parents have to secure uh, child locks on their systems. Yeah, matlab. I'm comple I completely agree with Nupur. I'm all for certification. Yeah, yeah. certification. My yeah. niece is, third, is 14. She doesn't watch anything. That, I mean, now she's turned 40, but she doesn't watch anything that is not, uh, uh, you know, age appropriate. Yeah, leave it to the parents to kind of... After certification, leave it to them, please. Just, I mean, do your job, give the certificate, whatever. Um, what, are, what are parents for? To make sure that the children are watching what they should watch and what they shouldn't watch. Simple. <laughs> Find stuff, they're going to find stuff anyway. Nobody yeah. gets exactly. Okay. And Mr. Priyansha, what would you like to say? Okay. Oh, no, we need it. Yeah, I obviously agree. And they had okay. anyway wrapped it up, so I wasn't saying much. But I said, I, in fact, but it's become easier with the platforms. No? Um, you can do all this child lock thing and make a different profile for children. They can only click on their profile. My niece also does that. When they're yeah. in platforms, you can make their different profiles for your adults. and for them, it is much, much more easier technologically right now or on the phones as well. You can block it. I mean, why should, an adult be, why should an adult be deprived of something because there's a child in the house? Yeah. So you yeah. you, you ensure their child what is, what is right for them. And uh, we, we need to be, I think creatively, we need to be just be careful of, uh, I feel uh, definitely, and I've said this in many, many interviews and a lot before as well. Uh, there are there is content online which uh, some of us are making where we don't have good scripts. So then we fall back on you know nudity and crossword, crosswords and all these things because 
हमें फिर वो स्क्रिप्ट में ट्रस्ट नहीं है बिकॉज वी डोंट ट्रस्ट द स्क्रिप्ट सो देन इफ वी मतलब दिस दिस इज बिकम कंट्रोवर्शियल इफ आई से दिस बट इफ वी डोंट हैव गुड स्टोरीज देन हम गंदी बात करने लग जाते हैं सो दैट इज व्हाई आई थिंक दैट शुडंट हैपन